So today I bring you my pros and cons of the Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra. After daily driving this smartphone for around six months. And as usual, I'm gonna cut the BS and tell you straight what I like and what I dislike about this phone. So let's begin. The phone feels well made. No doubt premium glass and metal construction protected by Gorilla Glass Victus. Screen is quite big at 6.81 inches. It's also a beautiful AMOLED display with 120 Hertz refresh and 515 pixels per inch. So you're getting a super sharp and bright display, no doubt. Although design wise, what I don't like and I just could not get used to was the camera bump on the back. It's huge, dare I say, it's ugly. And it does get in the way when you're trying to wirelessly charge on some charges and it does protrude out quite a bit. Also, when playing games, it's not that comfortable to hold and you're gonna completely smudge all the sensors. Even if you stick on the included silicon case, then you are gonna feel that camera bump when playing games. So that is something you do need to try and get used to is the size of that camera bump. Although six months on, um, I'm still not liking that bump. Also, this phone is not pocket friendly. It's freaking massive and also heavy. So inside most trouser pockets, you will see some part of this phone sticking out also, it's quite heavy at 234 grams, but its thickness is not that bad at 8.4 millimeters. So overall, this is designed to be a big smartphone, giving you a phablet-like experience. So I found myself holding this phone in my hands as I'm traveling, as putting it in the bag is not practical, um, and letting it stick out my pocket whilst I walk is asking for trouble. So kudos to Xiaomi for trying something different. Um, Design-wise, I still do like how the phone feels in the hands. It's well constructed, it feels solid, definitely premium in quality, but that camera bump is just not my cup of tea. So this is a flagship top of the range smartphone from Xiaomi, powered by the Snapdragon 888. However, it's not the upgraded plus version. You are getting the standard Snapdragon 888, which still offers a superb performance with an Antutu score of 803K. The cameras are as expected impressive. You have three monster cameras on the back, so 50 megapixel primary, and you're getting two 48 megapixel sensors. You can shoot great looking photos and videos with minimal effort. And MIUI's camera software is as good as usual with plenty of features and options to keep you busy. Now, maximum video quality is 8K at 24 FPS. This phone also has a 5,000 milliamp hour battery. So you would expect an amazing battery life well, not exactly. With heavy usage, the phone does last a day, but the phone has an overheating issue. Now, not necessarily when playing games, you can play games all day with no issues. It's only when I use the camera for long shooting sessions, then I do find that the phone starts to overheat, especially around the camera module. Um, and then I find that the battery will actually drain much quicker as the phone starts to overheat. Furthermore, this smartphone does come with a 67 watt fast charger included in the box. So it takes around 75 minutes to fully charge from zero to 100%. Now speakers are very good quality. You have dual speakers, one in the bottom and one at the top. So stereo speakers are very good, loud and clear and enjoyable for your videos and games. And speaking of games, this phone has the power and performance to play any game you like on the highest graphical setting. And this phone actually does have a advanced cooling system inside. So I was actually able to play COD Mobile for five hours straight with no overheating issues. But it's only when I start shooting lots of 8K and 4K videos that the camera module starts to overheat. I'm not surprised as this camera does have three monster sensors. So yes, I have found some issues with prolonged camera usage. Um, although this could be an isolated issue, it could be just my Mi 11 Ultra, but if this has happened to you, do let us know in the comments so we can find out whether this is an isolated issue. Also, we do have Google Widevine Level 1 certification, so Netflix fans can stream in full HD with Dolby Vision. Now, another thing to mention is I can't go to Amazon or my local store and buy the Mi 11 Ultra, whereas I can buy all the other phones in the series, so the Mi 11 Standard, the Mi 11 Lite, and the Mi 11 Lite 5G, they're all available to buy anywhere. Um, it's just the Mi 11 Ultra seems to be only available from me.com. And even that, it says notify if you wanna buy, so you can't just go online and buy this phone. Um, and also the price doesn't seem to have budged from 1199. So that's 1,200 pounds. 
for this smartphone. No doubt very expensive, especially when this phone is nearly seven to eight months old. And there are many more cheaper flagship alternatives on offer at the moment, offering the exact same chipset power and performance. Now there is another issue that I want to mention. My Wi-Fi cuts off every now and then with no explanation why. So I might be watching Netflix or a YouTube video. The next few minutes later, it will say Wi-Fi not connected and the video will stop playing. So again, this could be just my Mi 11 Ultra uh, playing games with me. So let me know if any of you guys are experiencing the same. So I've been using this as my daily driver for many months. And the bottom line for this phone is I just don't think I will miss it after I send it back. The camera heating issue, the massive bump on the back, the fact that it's a super heavyweight phone, MIUI's bloatware apps, and the not so amazing battery efficiency from that 5,000 milliamp hour cell leaves me unsatisfied, especially if I had to pay the full asking price of nearly 1,200 pounds. Now saying that, if you took away my Fold 3, which is one of my favorite smartphones of the year, if you took this phone away from me, if I lost it, God forbid, I would definitely miss this and I would have to buy a replacement one way or another. I'm not getting that vibe from the Mi 11 Ultra at all. Um, it's not a phone I'm going to miss. For the price, you can definitely get better phones out there. So that was my quick roundup of the pros and cons for the Mi 11 Ultra. This is still, without any doubt, an impressively constructed premium smartphone, especially if you're into photography. And if those cons I mentioned are not too much of a concern for you, then this is still a great flagship smartphone. Although you still do have to consider that extremely high price. Um, all in all, pretty good phablet experience. But if I had to choose an alternative, um, I would actually go for the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. And rumor has it that the S22 Ultra is just around the corner. So I'm not sure if spending 1200 pounds on the Mi 11 Ultra is still a feasible option. Um, it might be better. To wait. I hope you found this video useful. For now, I will leave you with that. Thanks for watching. Until next time, peace.